Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Survival Mode. And well, today, today we have to deal with our infection. Um, yes, we we have an infection, and we don't have any uh, antibiotics. Antibiotics, and well, no one around, no traders or anyone around has antibiotics. So, um, the only Play, the actual pl the only actual place I know that actually that I can heal my um you know that I can actually heal my infection is Diamond City. So <laughs> before we do anything else, I guess we're gonna head to Diamond City. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but yes, that also reminds me. Um, looking in my pet boy, we have a level up. So let's uh let's go ahead and um. Uh, let's go ahead and choose our next perk for that. Um, there's, there's actually not a lot of things I could possibly want to take as a right now. I, I think, mm, I might take Aqua Boy. And we are, and if we look, it could be useful to actually go across water. And I mean, and yeah, there is going to be an increased chance of infection or getting more even more sick if we go through water but we're going to be heading to a doctor anyway so um yeah i think we're going to go ahead and take aqua boy we're going to need it sooner or later anyways um it's a great perk to have so yeah but with that let's go ahead and make our way to diamond city uh, by the way, we have plenty of food and water and stuff to m make it there. Oh, actually, well, on that train of thought, let me actually go, um, uh, check, uh, check the reserves and stuff and see how much water we actually do have. Uh, antibiotics? What? Uh, I guess we don't need a... C okay, then. Wait, how did... What? I I mean, I'm not complaining, but I mean I How did those get in there? What What caused those to spawn? Did, or was it something that I demolished that had the Well, uh I'm not complaining. Let's go ahead and <laughs> Let's go ahead and <laughs> And with that stroke of luck, um, <laughs> we, uh, we are now cured with our infection. That is, yeah, that must have been from, uh, whenever I was disassembling a lot of things. That must have been in a container that I did not realize it was in at the time, huh? Well, that totally changes plans and things of the episode, I guess. I guess we're gonna still make our way down to Diamond City-ish. Um, but, uh, I guess we can, uh, but yeah, I guess we can deal with Corvega now. And feel free to use our workshop. At least we can go. And, uh, and quickly turning, uh, in that, uh, quest. Um, oh, these, uh, growing well. these Tato's have already grown back, or at least some of them. Okay. Well, with that, let's go ahead and head back towards Cor Corvega. Um, we might also pick up a... What is that? Is that a Ragstag? Yes. Uh... Oh, wow, we only have... Okay. I don't have that a lot of amp... That much ammo, so... Hmm. That might be something interesting to think about. Oh, oh. Whoops. Let's try to grind up a critical. Okay, well, I don't really have that much, uh, AP. Hello. <laughs> oh yeah, that reminds me, since I'm on my way down here, there's also one place I would like to try to look for. Oh, hello, ghouls. Uh, 
Oh no. Oh Jesus! I know you're- oh, there you are. Hello there. Uh, I don't think it's this cabin, we're, but we're on our- we are on the uh, right track. Uh, I kind of forget exactly where this leads. Wait, is this the person who, who, um, he's, did the, he's trying to build a mini nuke? Oh, I think so. Uh, let's go ahead and pop some Radix. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's Ringriski or Gorski. There we go. Oh yeah, this is... It, I kind of remember this. Huh. Yeah, oh yeah, I kind of remember. Oh. I, I'm glad that wasn't live. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get near too, too close to that, so I am just going to back up and back away. Oh, I was about to say, what is that? It's just Ragstag, though. Oh, what? How? What? Who? Who's? Oh no! There, I'm under. Ca I'm in caution. Ah! Okay, backing off. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> and like nothing ever happened. It's not like your friend up there is <laughs> lying dead. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take the critical. I know it may. I know it's gonna be risky, but I think I'm wanting to um actually take a rest here, so. Yeah, I'm gonna eat and drink, and then I'm gonna just take an hour, hour rest. Now there should be, yeah, m more, more people, more gunners and stuff. Oh. Okay, well that didn't do as well as I- OH SHIT! <laughs> okay! Um... Well! Okay, let's take some jet. Um... And, and let's do some quantum, yes. Um... Is- Uh... Okay, yeah, our leg is broken, so we also need to do some, uh... I need to do a stim pack. Where's the st Where's the stim? <clears throat> oh shit. Oh no. It's, no, don't get caught up in that. Run away. Oh, wow. Hello there. Oh no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. And that's why we <laughs> that's why we put down a save. To be fair, like those those gunners pretty much see you just about every time in my experience. 
Um, oh, Weldon Pawn. Uh, I didn't even realize that. Um, you can put it on your map from just that distance, all right? Wait, is there? Is there any gunners? Best scrap in the Commonwealth, right here. Oh. Let's see what you have. Huh. You're you're selling cat meat, and, and um. Uh. You know what, I'm just gonna quickly go. Uh. Oh no, that doesn't sound friendly. Oh no. That sounds like a bear. Oh, it's. Ch oh, thank god, it's just a dog. What? Why, why, why did. Why is there a gunner going, hmm? Hmm. Oh no, I remember. I remember this. I remember this. Oh no. Th oh, this is just. <laughs> this is not a nice place to be. Is this. Is this the place that I'm looking for? I think so. No. That there's a bear. That that that's a bear. Y you just stay over there, and I'll be over here, and we can just be on our way. Who's detecting me? What's? De Why did why did this deer have a baseball? Oh, where there's a frag mine. But w wait, is that a second bear? Was there two bears? I I don't even know anymore. <laughs> is in there what the fuck was that ghouls I swear to god I think that was ghouls that triggered the f the mines all right yeah so I uh, I, de I definitely went to south um wait what what is was putting me under caution Uh, surely it's not this person, right? How did you miss that? Show your face. Come on. I dare you. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> oh, you're on the way down there. All right. What is still putting me under ca in caution, though? Well, we need to backtrack a little bit. Uh, and that means going back towards all the raiders and... Or the gunners and stuff, which is... <laughs> Doesn't sound fun. Uh. Y yeah, there's the gunners. Let's just, you know, ignore that. Let's just ignore that scavenger that's getting shot to death right now. Alright, so I was actually initially heading the right direction. I just ended up going too, too south and too, too much south and whatnot. Although there is some dangerous stuff around here that, you know, you have to be careful of as well. Like, hold on, how many feral ghouls are there?
Hello there. Let's grind up a critical on you. Oh, and, and we got a level up. Yay. Ah, I see. The feral ghouls got the scavengers. Well, with that level up, let's, uh, let's pick our next perk. Let's see. Bloody Mess, uh, rank 2 has become available. But also, at the same time, Rifleman became available as well. I'm using... I mean, I am using rifles, like my, you know, sniper and stuff, you know, more and more for first, for first, uh, engagements, so it would be useful. Um, the next level is basically double and on level eight, 18. Uh, okay, so, so the second rank will ignore 15% of the target's armor, which is good. There's also a argument to go ahead and start boosting up our critical, or uh, start boosting up our luck just so we can have access to better criticals, because the second rank of that is already, um, is going to be already available at rank 15. Um, same thing with critical banker, that the second rank of that is already going to be, um, at level 17. So yeah, I think I think I'm gonna take the second rank for uh, for riflemen right now, just for that extra bit of damage. And then I think for the next couple of levels, I think I might put some uh, intense training or you know ex you know the basically boost up my luck in uh, a, f a few points before uh, before. In Investing into any new perks or whatnot, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with uh, Rifleman too. You know, I, I just for a safety save, I'm just gonna sleep for an hour. Um, is that the death building? Yes, that's the death building. Do not go in there. You will die. Ah, here we go. Sunside tidings. Um, this is where we want it to be. Ah uh, yes, Professor Goodfields. I like that. I like that character. Um, yeah, there should. Oh, a legendary rad roach. Our first legendary of uh of the run. Is there any more? <laughs> a berserker gray baseball bat. Yay! <laughs> Does more damage the lower your armor resistance. That. Uh. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna take it just because. Uh, yeah, I mean that's a pretty good value. So I mean, might as well take it and sell it. Uh, like how heavy it does. It. Yeah, it's only weighs three, so might as well take it and sell it at some, you know, at the next trader. Even more rad roaches. Ooh, military grade duct tape. Nice. Is it this the one with the actual ghouls? Oh yes, it is. Oh, that's a roamer. There we go. If he did get a swipe in it, it was in Vat's defense. Industrial trunk, 308 ammo jet. Wait, hold. Ooh, pocketed. Ooh, yes, some pocketed gear. Oh yes, thank you very much. But the real reason, but the real reason why we came here, yes, is this. Uh, the uh, this particular um issue of Wasteland Wasteland Survival Guide, you collect an extra or permanently collect extra meat. From kill uh, animals killed, ba basically, you know, whenever I kill rag stags and um, uh, rad roaches and stuff like that, I will get two meats um, instead of one. Uh, the only exception is I do believe blood bugs and um, I think and I think rat scorpions, just because of the chances of them dropping meat is so low. Um, it, I mean, it will guarantee you at least one piece of meat from them, but you won't get two. Uh, so yeah. But yeah, that's the that's the reason why we came here. 
in the first place. Oh, a no oh, I didn't realize that this was locked. Yes. Oh, hello. No, I do not want to shoot Professor Goodfield. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. As you could see, immediately I was able to, um, immediately went into effect, uh, right then and there. Ooh, bourbon. No, I'm gonna leave that uh, desk fan there because I like it. It's shiny. Is there more? St oh, yes, there is m more enemies here. Come on, let's get him. There we go. I love that. And since there's a cooking station here, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly cook up what I can. All right, well, with that, let's head back um, towards uh, Diamond City. Uh, I'm kind of not wanting to do Corvega. I kind of don't, but I mean, I guess since it's on the way, might as well do it, I guess. Oh no, that's... Yeah, I do not... Yeah, no, avoid that, avoid that. Uh, I think I know what that is. That's a death house. Over there is a behemoth spawn, I think. And then coming across here... Wait, is... Is there dogs... Did some dogs spawn on that campsite now? <laughs> nice. Okay, I, I mean, I'm not complaining. Uh, apparently this dog just... Like, either... It, wait, what? What happened here? I just went to sleep for four hours. Or six hours. I don't know. It's, what happened here overnight? Well, it seems like it's going to be a very misty day, which is kind of good and kind of bad. Because, I mean, I can't see, but that also means that hopefully uh, others won't be able to see me. Hopefully. Yeah, I really don't like traveling through the day, uh, out on the day, because, because uh, uh, yeah, you're able to be seen by the uh, by the AI a lot more. What is going on? Oh, wait a minute, there was more of them? Where? where? Oh! Hello? <laughs> Meanwhile... Hello, where did you go? Oh, there, you, hell, there, there, there you are. Oh, I thought there was a third one. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, I accidentally picked up a dog bowl. Hmm. Someone was trying to tame these dogs or something. J just don't question it. It's Fallout. Wait, that... Wait, that Yalgwai is now, like, almost actually killed. What happened? Wait, it, it... They died. The bear died. Was it because they was next to that radiate? Was it because of the... Next to the radiation? I am so confused. What the hell? 
oh yeah, we're cooking, we're cooking next to radiation. Let's just go ahead and just try to fucking get this done as fast as we can. Well, that's a child of Adam, huh? Okay. All right, so I don't know exactly how I want to approach this. Uh, let's just go ahead and take the shot. Okay, then. I don't understand how that didn't hit. Ah, uh, my the sun is in my eyes. Right now, this is not good. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Didn't realize they could actually f wander that far. <laughs> Let's just keep on backing up. Oh, come on. Good Molotov. Who's shooting at me? Is it the people all the way up there? Yeah, it must be the people up top shooting at me. Yeah, well, we don't really need to worry about those people up top. We really don't really need to worry about the, that much, that many people um, in this front part, really. I just kind of got spotted by them. Now, there should be an entrance somewhere. But we also gotta be careful of other threats. Ah, uh, here it is. Ah, uh, yes, I did railroad sign. I kind of forget the signs, but off the top of my head, I think that's danger or something like that. It would make sense, seeing how it's an X. Seems very dangerous to me. <laughs> and plus, it's a... <laughs> It's been taken over by raiders, so, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. Alright, so let's really be careful, because, <laughs> uh, I think our last save point was, um, back in Sunside, Sunside Tidings. I know I totally butcher that. What? Why did you turn around? Yeah, let's just bats the turret, bats the turret. <laughs> the camera went a little crazy there. Your mother! Ooh, some uh, ammo boxes to quickly get some XP from. Uh, gonna have to do this slow methodical. Oop, only one shell in that. Hello! Oh, hello there. Um, what is my, what is more powerful, the hunting rifle or, okay, yeah, the stub nose. <laughs> oh, hello there. I didn't see you, I didn't see you sitting there. Um...
Anyone else? Yeah, it does. I'm hit. I'm waiting right here for you. This is bullshit. Yeah, it is bullshit. <laughs> Fuck. I guess we will just go with the pistol then. Uh, retreat, retreat, retreat. Why do you have to be in such an awkward position? Alright, there we go. I knew there were some ghouls that was gonna spawn right there. Oh, that... That's nice. I, I didn't realize that happened. Oh, shit. If he comes around this corner, I'm gonna bats him. I did not expect them to... I did not expect that those two gonna... Do around that corner. <laughs> nice, uh, nice double voice line right there. Now, let's see. Hold on. Oh, there's Jared right there. Bye, Jared. And there we go. We can just exit. I think I would be able to clear out this place if I, you know, if I do it slow enough and methodically enough, but yeah, I, I don't really want to mess with it too much. We got, we got our main objective done and that's it. You know what, once some, you know what, something I just realized, um, I picked up these parketed, uh, pieces and I did not put them on. So <laughs> let's go ahead and just do that. That, that should actually increase our carry capacity quite a bit, yeah. Increase it all the way up to 170. Well, with that done, I think our next objective is to um, get out of here uh, <laughs> with our live. Oh, God. If that's the person who I think it was, we need to just get out of here. Oh, yes! Speaking of uh, Brotherhood and stuff like that, or I, well, I wasn't really talking about Brotherhood, but yes, I kind of knew that we were going to pick this up a along the way, uh, so let's go ahead and listen to this signal. Now, with us finding that radio signal, uh, fire support has became available, and we're going to actually do that. Now, I know it's going to be risky because there's going to be a lot of ghouls um, there, but as long as we, you know, put ourselves in an okay position, let's go ahead and get this started uh, and get the Brotherhood uh, mission started. Because the Brotherhood um, has can uh, is a really really good faction to have to be a part of. Let me oh oh Jesus okay let me get right here. Ah. Ow. I didn't realize there was a ghoul right there.
Yeah, let's just play chicken with ghouls. Why don't we? Oh, and we have reached level 10. That's actually good. Let's just try to build up a critical while we're at it. Is that it? Oh, no, no, that is not it. That is not it. Uh, yeah, I do not want to throw a grenade or anything like that. Because then I might make an enemy of the Brotherhood. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Shit. Ow, ow. Uh. Uh, is that it? Okay. Hey, Hello man. there. <laughs> appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Uh, uh. Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. You want to remain in the compound. I suggest you answer my question first. I'm just trying to survive out here. Like everyone else. The way you charged in and engaged those ferals, I find that a bit difficult to believe. Are you from a local settlement? I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit this. I mean, I am wearing a vault suit. <laughs> if I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reist. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology, its power, its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Now, here's the thing. Brotherhood of Steel, like, fund fundamentally, I, like, I, I like them as a faction to a degree, but then, but then I start not, <laughs> and so I'm kind of hit, I'm kind of hit and miss on them. So it, it's one of those things is, as like a survival mode kind of, in, in a survival mode standpoint and in a, in a practicality standpoint is I do want to go with them but as an ideology standpoint I I'm I'm not so sure um I mean at least at the Brotherhood in Fallout 3 I could more or less get behind more or less but the Brotherhood in Fallout 4 is yeah I I'm not so sure uh, but let's let's just say you know a noble cause. Your cause right. seems noble. I'm pleased that you agree. Because more or less, I mean, I I I do agree more or less the with the, of the Brotherhood's facing as a species. idea. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Just not the whole, you know, <laughs> genocide part. No time to waste. Of let's get of ghouls and other things like that. Oh yeah, this uh, Operation Winter's In. This must be related to Nick's um, thing. Hello, team. Captain Whitmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now with you. 
together we will knock Haiti Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere, even the BPD. So our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operations. Let's get to work. Good hunting. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to know that has anything to do with Nick, just based off of that recording. Um, to be fair, I I think I've only started that mission, but I never completed it on one playthrough. I've started a lot of things on other playthroughs, but never finished <laughs> finished a lot of things. Hopefully that um, hopefully I, I will be able to you know actually be able to do that. But yes, with us, uh, let's go ahead and actually drop a save here. Oh yay, we're tired from the lack of sleep. Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Ready? Outstanding. Follow me. And try not to lag behind. I thought about asking a question, but I was like, meh. But yeah, we should be able to do this mission pretty easily. Even though, um, we shouldn't, we shouldn't have, uh, needed to put that safety save down, but I did just in case, because you never know what could happen, so. Oh, and a level up. I almost forgot. Yeah, I think I'm gonna boost luck up. So now, Idiot Savant is available, but I don't think I'm gonna be taking that. Um, even... Like, say, with, with our intelligence being four, I mean, and I'm planning on boosting that up so we can get it up to six, and also chemist, so, um, not so much robotics expert, uh, what is, y yeah, nerd, some of the perks on, the, on a higher intelligence tree is not really so much useful, but I definitely at least want to boost my intelligence up to seven, and even with, um, thirst and stuff, knocking it down to five and stuff. Idiot Savant is not... I, I don't think it would be a good idea to put some perks into Idiot Savant. Oh, that was actually a good model top. Don't mind me, I'm just trying out suits. Because I will, you know, drop all this ammo and stuff. All this extra weight that I don't need. I'm just kind of keeping it at the moment. Because of, um... <laughs> I'm keeping all this extra stuff at the moment, currently, because of... Because I can easily sell it uh, for, a good, uh, for a good amount of money. Because even with the cheapest ammo, you can sell it for one cap. All this mongrel meat is actually... Yeah, it's going to put me overweight. I knew it. <laughs> it's kind of weird how the AI sometimes just stops on a dime. Waiting for you. Whenever they're not your companion, but... Are a part of a quest... What? Excuse me, Paladin Dance. I broke your speech. I see that. Damn it. I was hoping to avoid this. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Uh... 
What is this? Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh, I remember this. <laughs> um, this is Technician Rand, our Jet Propulsion Division. Yeah, you just, I'm okay. here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. Hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. The supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we <laughs> So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? Soon we'll be doing push-ups, eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy Oop, private. No, library. I didn't mean to do the pick up the salt shot, but baton, baton. The dance is just going on ahead. Uh. Are you? Yeah, dance. I'm gonna leave you to that. Okay, I tried. I tried. I tried, Dance. I tried. Alright, now I'm helping. Alright, uh, yeah. Dan is just gonna be able to take care of most of this. Yes, because it's a rocket. Attach that to Liberty Prime and whatnot. <laughs> oh, and then our first terminal terminal that we have to hack. This doesn't make any sense. If 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 loot only has one. And most only has one, but test has two. And then the only, then none of these make any sense. Because then the only possible combination would be E, E S or T E. Is it T? Wait, is it T-E? Because it can't be S-T. It can't be S-T. Because that's in most. Is it... Uh... Like, this is one of the reasons why I hate this... The hacking... Minigame is because... Like, I guess in theory... It is supposed to seem simple and whatnot. But it... it I don't know, or if it... Or if it always spawns with a really hard password or something for me, because this doesn't make any goddamn sense. Like I get the idea behind it, but it, with how this, with how with how this is telling me, none of, none of these are right. I mean, because from my understanding, it it can't you, you it can't tell you if there's two likenesses if like say if if you got one letter in the beginning and then one letter in the middle right unless they changed it or something I don't know yeah I thought so this doesn't really make any sense that this seriously this this I I hate this this fucking mini game I'm just gonna do this till I fucking get it because I I don't want to waste the fucking time. Got it. 
Yeah, see, that's a lot better than trying to fucking figure out the du this dumbass system. Prime. Now, Standing we could, we could, wa we could, you know, help dance, but I am just gonna, you know, start the engine. Commencing five second countdown. Five. Just, just gonna close the door. Three. I'm gonna cut out most of that, but it's Two. that was such a painful experience. I One. like don't get me wrong, I'd like the idea, and sometimes it, you know, Engine the hacking mini game is, you know, works out like it's intended. But most of the time, it's it's just a pain in your ass, and it doesn't make any sense, even whenever it's supposed to. It's just it's stupid. Test firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7 percent. Hmm, nice percentage rating. Oh my god, are you all right? Got cooked by those flames, but thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Hold on. We've got company. Oh my goodness. Ow. Oh, why are you shooting dance? gonna come okay yeah you're just gonna stand in front of the elevator <laughs> ah paladin dance well that could have gone smoother but mission accomplished uh hold on for a second let's see if we can actually patch a speed check smoother I thought we did fine that sweet was slop. We were caught unprepared ah. more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. Hold on for a second, let me uh, put it back on my armor real quick. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. Wait a minute, now I'm parched. Hold on. Let me Let me take a drink now. Said, there we go. I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. And the main reason why we did this mission, um, don't get me wrong, we did it also for starting off the Brotherhood um, in their in their missions, but also because of righteous authority. Um, I do think this is equivalent to a lucky, uh, lucky variant uh, laser rifle. But yes, this is a really good, uh, really good laser uh, gun. Uh, you can modify it into a pistol, and it, it will get the same pistol, uh, pis pistol perks. So I, I will be doing that eventually because um, any. At least any energy weapons I would want to convert into pistols, because I find at least the pistol, uh, the pistols to be a little bit more useful as far as like say knock off, uh, uh, the the knock, um, uh, the weapon knock, uh, n yeah, the weapon knock knockout if uh, that to be more useful, um, in the later stages of um, of gunslinger thank you you're welcome civilian now as far as the second matter goes I wanted to make you a proposal we had a lot thrown at us back there our op could have ended in disaster but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier there's no doubt in my mind you've got what it takes the way I see it you've got a choice you could spend 
spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? I'd be honored to join. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. And we... And there we go. We have completed Call to Arms. Um, we are going to head back to the uh, station just so we can drop a save. And, uh, yeah. We, we also gained a level up. But before we do that, let's head back to the police station just so we can, you know, actually have that save and, you know, not lose any of our progress. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. The transcript. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Alan, Reese. Wait. It's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. What happened to his? He shows a lot of promise. Why is he not wearing his? his I think he has the potential. His brotherhood, or like his outfit. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Are you upset that I'm staying? Maybe. Got enough trouble stomping muties and pharaohs. I don't need something else to worry about. Reese, that's enough. Like yeah, not, he's th he's not wearing his uh. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to. Yeah, he's not wearing his uh. If you to stay with outfit, your place, I think. You need to obey our tenets without question. Are you going to teach me this code of ethics? If you were paying attention in ArcGen, you should have learned some of it already. The rest will become apparent as you spend time with your fellow soldiers. Now, since I know you're eager to get started, I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Fair enough. Outstanding, soldier. Ad victorium, initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier. Now, I do believe the the first one, the first uh, the first one that he gives you is literally, yeah, just right there. So, Sonia, I'm pretty certain I gave you a mission to complete. Did, I, hold your horses. Hon, we're, I'm, we're tired now from the lack of sleep. Uh, AP fresh minus five. Uh, so yes, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, I, <clears throat> next time around, we're gonna have a pretty eventful episode. We're gonna go c uh, clear out College Square, and then we're gonna head towards Diamond City. And as you may know, there is a lot of, things that can happen in between here and there so so yeah uh <laughs> if you like this episode please give it a like and if if you want to see more episodes please consider hitting the subscribe the subscribe button uh new episodes should be coming out every friday at 12 uh, p.m or yeah 12 p.m uh pacific standard time that is but anyways yes yeah, <laughs> i'm gonna leave it there and uh yeah hope to see you next time bye